Hello, amazing second grade artist. If you recall last week, we were blending at least two to three colors on each of our beautiful flowers that we are making for the background of our next work of art. And so I'm going to finish up adding that color by first tracing each of the petals and then tracing the details on the middle of the flower. And then after that, I'm going to blend some of that into the edge using the same color. And in those areas where the leaf is bending or has a different color on it in the picture that we were referring to, we will add an additional color to it. And so in this case, I'm adding violet. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that up. Artists, when I have that all complete, I'm now going to emphasize the edges of the flowers using crayons. This is a very important step. If we don't do this step properly where we're making sure that we trace the complete edge of every petal and all of the stems, when we do our next step on our work of art, we won't see our flowers anymore. So we're going to make sure that we are careful and mindful of the edge. And I'm changing colors a bit to different colors of green and different colors of orange and yellow as I go around each of the flowers. And I'm hoping you're noticing that I'm pushing hard. You can actually see the table kind of move as I'm doing this because I'm pushing so hard and some of my crayons are even breaking. So take your time to trace the petal as well as the stems. Okay, artist, one more step. Now we're going to be using our brush with very clean water and blending the colors that we made with our markers. That is why we used water-based markers instead of using Sharpies. The water-based markers allow you to turn them into watercolor of all things. And if you notice, I'm spreading this color out into the background. This is going to end up being our background color. It'll do two jobs, blending the colors and shading your petals on your flowers. And it will also add a bit of color in the background. I'm wanting to make sure though, that as I do this, that I'm not adding too much color because if I add too much color, then you won't see the flowers anymore. So we are wanting to still see the flowers. You can see I've left one flower unfinished, but all of the other flowers are all set. 